This is the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive ebook. This gun bunch was very popular at the beginning of the year because we had man press and man press was just a hazard to deal with. The reason that this was so good against man coverage or against man press rather was this play Steelers cross. Now if I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call this against cover one and I'm going to press one time and this unbumpable on Adams is going to beat the man right off the snap. So if I snap this ball right here, you see that he takes a step inside and then I can high pass that right over the top of him, try to rack that for a touchdown. Now I'm going to show this to you again. The thing is though that in practice mode I've noticed that if I run it a couple of times in a row, sometimes you're gonna get a beat on me, sometimes not. So right there, once again, we got a free release. I'm gonna throw that with a high pass. We could of course catch that. Now if we don't have that deep zone there, so I put him just into a mid-read just like so. By the way, you guys, the thing that's glowing right there is double me that has nothing to do with route running. I'm gonna snap the ball. You see, we get a perfect, an absolutely perfect, oops, we got tackled right there. We got a perfect release. He has no chance of stopping that. What other routes are great on this play? Obviously, I can look to hit the running back right of the backfield or that crossing route is absolute money against man coverage. Now, I almost got sacked there. I have the fade. I also have the crossing route and if I really want to and I don't have my route guy right there but that's fine if I want to I can also put Sammy Watkins on the C route and Lewis right there and ultimately might have Dave Casper at tight end he gets slot apprentice as well I can put a deep corner on, uh, on him and that will be a lot of fun so once again I'm gonna snap the ball you see that we get the free release high pass that over him very important to high pass it the thing is though that Adams is not too fast so he gets he gets caught up but, he, but we have speed versus speed if they're the same speed basically and you get this good of a release then there is a threw that without a half pass if you get this good of a release there's no chance that your opponent is going to catch you but what else is there in this formation and for this i'm going to actually sub in uh george kittle right here i'm going to sub in uh not just Jefferson, michael thomas let's go let's go through the plays now c spot i want to talk about c spot because of that corner it's the same corner that i have in my audibles right here which are, which are bunch trail, halfback base, verticals, and deep corner. This bunch trail corner route, if you look at it, is exactly the same as this rental cob one. It's just, it's a little deeper, but it's the exact same corner route. So I'm gonna go to bunch trail, man press, and if they don't shade at all, you will see that we get a speed burst and we can, oops, my bad. That, that looked pretty bad, let's try that again. I don't know why we just didn't beat him cleanly there. Of course, I recommend shorting the lead on all of those receivers. Uh, I have it on pretty much everyone. Right there, you see, you get that separation. This is what's used to have, uh, what's supposed to happen, of course. Now, sometimes they're gonna make a play on it just because man interactions are quite random. Not gonna lie to you, but overall, you should have no problems against this. Gonna press again without any shading. Uh, you see that we get a step, and now let's talk about a route combo that I recommend you guys try out. Uh, with this specific play i would put adams on a zig put thomas backside on the corner just like so i'm gonna show it like this put kill i can't uh, show him right now but he's on a slant and then i'm going to put aaron jones on an in route so i'm going to snap the ball you see the corner route is going to be open uh, left-sided c routes are better than right-sided c routes by the way so if you have the c route on the left it's going to do a much better job uh just fyi but here you go this is the setup that i was talking about Zig beats man coverage, slant beats man coverage, running back beats man coverage, and of course, just come on. I sound like a broken record about this, but this C route does an amazing job against man. So this is a setup that I recommend you guys run out of C spot. Let's move on to the next play. Before we move on to the next play, though, I would really appreciate it if you could just hit that subscribe button. We're so close to a thousand subscribers. This would mean the world to me. So be that next guy. Make sure to sub in there. But let's keep going. Dig return. I like dig return, especially at the goal line. Gonna move the ball down the field right at the two yard line great uh play to get versus cover three especially uh you see that circle he gets into a nice window there where i can throw that against cover three against cover two this is a little bit more difficult of a task or of a ask rather so i'm gonna run this against cover two just to show you that this is not so amazing against cover two the only thing that you can hope to do is throw a high pass to Randall Cobb. In Ultimate Team, I recommend using someone like Parham there. If you really want to get sweaty, you can substitute Donald Parham in at wide receiver just for this play alone. But to snap this ball once again against cover three, you also have that same ball right there. You see high throw that eye. Absolutely. Love to see it. But you see 
This is a great play against cover three. Uh, in the op open field, I don't really run this play too much, just because, just because I don't really know why. Uh, I, I just like this in red zone, and it does a great job for me. Let's keep it moving though, gonna spot the ball back. Let's get straight on to the next play. In this next play, we're gonna talk about bunch trail. The reason why I like bunch trail specifically is because we have that trail route on George Kittle. So here's the setup that I recommend you guys run. Streak Adams, motion him to the outside. And then backside, I like a wheel route to corner route combination. So I'm going to snap this ball. And the first thing that's gonna jump out at you is this George Kittle, he just gets open. Plain and simple, he just gets open. He has nice timing because we have the corner up on the, on the right side, we have the C rub on the left side and the running back. So the user is gonna jump to one of those. And then once the middle of the field kind of opens up, here comes that uh, angle route and you can see Foyd on that can throw it right there. Of course, I also have some other routes on this play. Randall Cobb does an amazing job getting open against many zones. It's a very deep corner route that I like to throw a lot. And then backside, of course, we have a read to Michael Thomas. Now, I wouldn't force in that C route. You kind of can, as right there you see there's a little bit of window, but it's very tiny. I would not recommend you guys force that. Of course, a thing that I recommend you to throw a lot is this running back. Just check it down to him. This is a snap throw. You snap, you see if there's someone running over there. So, for example, if I see Joseph is manned up on the running back. Okay, I can't throw that. Next read, let's maybe check that down. I didn't even set up any routes, but this trail route is so good. So you have to, you snap it, you look, is someone not sprinting out there? If so, don't throw it. But if you don't see anyone, and you're just like, Samuel, okay, I see him. There you go. Throw it to him. Get it to him in space with some momentum going up the field. You'll have a lot of success. But that's it for Bunch Trail. I've talked about Bunch Trail a lot in some other ebooks, in the Henry one specifically. Absolutely love that play. Um, so check that out. But for now, we're going to keep going. Corner Strike. I like Corner Strike because it beats cover two, plain and simple. This is my setup against cover two. Snap this ball. You see that circle is open. I passed it that up all the way. By the way, my freeform settings are near and 20 out of 20. Did a video on this. But there you go, just dropping some straight knowledge. You can, pretty much cannot overthrow anything with near 20 out of 20, of course. Right there, gonna throw it down the middle of the field for an absolute laser. Without freeform, that is not possible. So I definitely recommend you guys switch over to freeform if you have not yet already. But this is a nice play against cover three, uh, my bad, cover two. Another play that you can run if you want to is kind of this, or put an out route, uh, uh, put an out route out there, then snap the ball. You can look to hit the running back or look to hit that across the middle of the field, whichever you prefer. But main thing I want I want to hammer in on is that this corner route just gets open against cover two. I can't really say that much more, uh, that much else about it. If you face uh, DB Fire two of dollar at all this is my go-to play I absolutely love it love to run it but let's keep it moving and i think at this point we're pretty much uh we're pretty far down with the ebook i want to talk about deep corner and verticals now deep corner is my cover three beater i already talked about this in the packers ebook but i'm going to mention it again street cop put thomas on the corner and then block my running back i'm going to snap this ball i'm going to step up a little bit and then i'm just going to laser it there you go very nice very simple you see that Adams gets open against cover three. I'm gonna do this exact same thing again, just to make sure uh, it's not a fluke. Have good pocket presence. Make sure to step up into the throw, as we cannot make a uh, we cannot stiff arm him at all. But you guys see that that's open. One last time for good measure. Make sure that the pocket presence is on point. It's right there, stepping away from the rush. Adams, stiff arm him. Oh man, stiff arm is uh, very gorgeous. Very nice animations, but. There you have it, that is it for deep corner. Let's now talk about verticals. Verticals, this verticals has a running back in route and this is actually a speed cut. If you see, it's kind of rounded. This is amazing against man coverage. I'm just gonna snap it like this and we'll have something open. Of course, right there, Randall Cobb, open across the middle. Absolutely gonna take that 100% of the time. I wanna run this against cover two man for the moment, just to show you that this running back smokes. Uh, he doesn't smoke weed, of course, as he lives in Wisconsin, probably Aaron Jones. Uh, and my guess is that it's not legal there. Maybe it is. Someone can correct me on that. Uh, but he absolutely destroys main coverage on this. Then next street is going to be to George Kittle right there in this window. Of course, this looks pretty tight. Uh, I'm not going to throw that in the game just because some fluky is going to happen. 
you can do some other stuff where you wanna, oh, my bad. You probably do want to mo uh, audible into verticals before motioning out atoms like this, but motion them to the outside just like so. And if you see it's cover three, okay. I can maybe look to hit that right there. Of course, this looks scary, but cover three uh, gets beaten by this. Of course, I'm gonna run this against cover two now just to show you that there is a pretty simple counter to this against cover two. If you throw it right now, that's a pick. But if you wait a little bit longer, then you see uh, how I have path like that out of bounds. But you see that that's a cover two beater because we get open along the sideline. Overall, this verticals play is so nice because you ha have things open at the snap. And if they call it coverage to counter that, then it gets open later on uh, as the play develops. You're not going to get that much time in this year's Madden, granted. But if you're playing someone who just sits in coverage, you will see. Okay, I can throw that up the field with, with uh, free from passing. Randall Cobb going into the end zone. Very, very nice. Now, that is it pretty much for this uh, ebook. My bad, you guys. I totally missed to. Uh, I totally forgot to explain to you how much I like this vertical setup in the red zone. Especially with Donald Parham. Uh, I should have never forgotten that. Um, cover three right here. And uh, I cover three verticals against cover three. Motion Adams to the outside. In George Kittle's spot, I have Donald Parham. And then I'm going to high point this. Just just like that. Just high point it very easily. Uh, you'll get open as verticals go right here. You can also, if you want to, if you really want to just show off that you can make tight reads, you can also throw that wheel rod that is open right there. I wouldn't look to hit that. I would like to, I would like you guys to really make sure uh, to annoy your opponent and throw it to Parham. If you get an air catch with Parham, uh, this might also force a rage quit just because it is so annoying to deal with right there. Randall Cobb on the high point. Just so many high point opportunities in this play in the red zone. Uh, the running back is basically just there to keep him honest so that they have to watch him because if not, you're just going to dump it down to him and you get three yards. That's pretty much a run play with also the option of throwing a touchdown on one of those high passes. So all in all, just a great play in the red zone. One last time, you can even snap it like this then throw a high point right there to George Kittle. Pass it away from the coverage and then if he gets that animation right there, right there over the shoulder, it's basically a guarantee because it's such a fast animation. He has two feet on the ground pretty quickly. And once you have two feet on the ground, then you caught it basically. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smack a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 1,000. It would mean the world to me. But hey, enough of me. Hope you guys take this into your next games. Enjoy and peace out. See you in the next one.